really my pleasure to welcome you to uh, the 2017 March Classic. Uh, our conference theme this year is Leading Through Change. Uh, we're proud to present a lineup of speakers focusing on political and international affairs and policies, succession planning uh, for our farm businesses here at home, and the delicate art of influencing the influencers. As industry leaders, it's important for us to embrace change, leverage opportunities, and drive the Ontario grain sector as a prosperous and innovative industry. This cannot be done in silos. In this era of social media, public interest, we must continue to connect with those who influence others through shared values and storytelling. We are proud to showcase the good work and the good people in grain farming, as you saw in our opening video on sustainability. Thank you to all of you. Thanks to all of you, these good stories are plentiful and we truly enjoy bringing them forward to those not in agriculture. I also like to take, uh, thank you all for taking time away from your farms to be here today. It's great to see everyone here from across our districts. And as we look forward to this year's planting season, I am pleased to now uh, present to you uh, those representing those districts, uh, our 2017 board directors. I'm gonna ask you to, just to hold your applause to the end. Um, I'm just going to ask the directors from the districts, as I call them out, to stand up and give a hearty wave uh, so you can see where they are. Uh, District 1, Brendan Burney. Uh, District 2, Mark Houston. Uh, District 3, Dave Park. Uh, District 4, Dave McEachern. District 5, Scott Persall. District 6 is Jeff Barlow. District 7, Kevin Armstrong. District 8, Keith Black. District 9 is myself. District 10 is Henry Van Ankem. Over there. Uh, District 11, Colin Elliott. District 12, uh, Jeff Harrison. District 13, Lloyd Crow. Oh, wow, look at the fan club for Lloyd. How much did you pay them? Uh, District 14, Marcus Earl. And our newest director on the board this year, Chuck Amiot from District 15. I really would like to extend my thanks to these uh, gentlemen who, who sit on the board and sacrifice their time. Uh, they do a lot on your behalf uh, for the industry and uh, they provide a lot of support for myself and for staff as we work on issues on your behalf. And with that, that takes us to staff. Yes, thank you very much. I forgot about the applause. <laughs> You know, I think uh, many of you see your directors or your delegates that help uh, represent uh, the organization through its issues, but, uh, and some of the front uh, level staff uh, that you see, but it really the, the office staff at Grain Farmers Ontario, right through wheat marketing all the way into communications and uh, administrative support, uh, they throw their full weight behind the organization and, and really work hard on your behalf. Uh, you know, there's emails that come across my phone on a Saturday uh, because they're working on issues. So uh, without them, I don't think we accomplish nearly what we do. So I think we should give them all a round of applause as well, too. And on that note, I'd like to invite Barry up, our, our CEO for Grain Farmers of Ontario, uh, to the podium to give, uh, make a few remarks. So, Barry. Well, thank you, Mark. And uh, good morning, everyone. And uh, thank you for coming out to what will be another i think very interesting and exciting day here at uh, at the march classic we have a great lineup of speakers again and i think uh, you'll enjoy those uh, those very much as mark said there is a number of uh, issues that uh, gfo is working on on your behalf and sometimes you see some of that going on and sometimes you don't what we have following my remarks uh, in a few minutes is a highlight reel to just show you some of the work that uh, you may not see uh, or read about that is going on on your behalf. That said, we do have a number of means to communicate on those uh, and through those communications efforts and one of those is a weekly video. We've just started a, uh, a weekly video that's entitled the uh, uh, Inside GFO and this is there to assist us in communicating to you some of the issues that, uh, that are going on in the grain industry in Ontario, in Canada, and throughout the world. 
If you haven't seen uh, this video yet, you can access it on our website, gfo.ca, or you can get it to uh, access it through Bottom Line, which is the weekly e-newsletter. And if you haven't signed up to the uh, weekly e-newsletter, uh, please do that by going out to the registration desk and we'll, uh, we'll get that uh, set up for you. Last year I mentioned that uh, we were in the process of setting up the Grains Analytical Testing Laboratory. Since that time, we've successfully launched and have been utilizing the lab for Ontario grain quality testing. We are proud that this is the first farmer lab partnership in Canada. We're also proud that SGS is our partner in this initiative. We want to thank SGS for the sponsoring of the uh, great reception that we had last night in the hotel. And those of you that attended, please join with me in thanking SGS for that. Further to the market development emphasis, we took great, st great strides in better understanding the end-use mar end markets for Ontario barley, corn, oats, soybeans, and wheat. The grains market utilization report was completed towards the end of last calendar year, and a summary of the booklet was included in your February copy of the Ontario Grain Farmer magazine. And in that, you'll find some very interesting uh, information about exactly what Ontario grain is used for. Speaking of the magazine, we are proud to share with you that the magazine was awarded the best agricultural newspaper or magazine in Canada by the Canadian Agri Marketing Association. This is part of the highlight reel that is going to uh, start in, in one minute. So uh, please sit back, join with me in watching some of the highlights of this past year. Thank you. Ontario's grains are farmed by families. Across the province, 28,000 farm families cover 6 million acres of farmland, proudly growing barley, corn, oats, soybeans, and wheat. 
Whether in our food, fuel, or furniture, every grain brings a natural and sustainable solution to our everyday lives. From the farmers in the fields to the wholesome food on your table, there's good in every grain. It's late October now, so most of the, well, all the soybean harvest is done, and we're into corn right now. We got a little bit of early snow two nights ago, so we've got a little bit more downtime than what is usual, but we're hoping to be back in the fields this afternoon. Hi, my name is Matt Hollinger. It's late October here in Little Britain, and we're just starting our corn harvest. My kids are, my kids are four, two, and nine months, so, Jake just started school and uh, so after school he gets out occasionally for a tractor ride and if my wife has an appointment or something, uh, Bo will come for a bit of a tour through the day, either trucking or in the tractor, so it's, uh, yeah, they really enjoy it. We've had to actually think outside of the box and uh, we've done two or three things that actually will probably continue on in the years to come there are things that you can do to be better and more efficient. And I think in any operation or any business, you always have to look, keep looking forward and using today's technology, but still using maybe some of the old school values that got you here.
I'm Jack Olivia Taylor. Seven, seven. I'm seven years old. I walk. From the bus. The parents drive me. Music. <laughs> Math. Science. We do explosions. Take care of our brothers and sisters. Clean up my room. Wipe the table down. Do the dishes. Feed the baby calves. Sometimes my, I make my brother's beds. Push all the poop off the aisleways. Mom vacuums and cleans. And they go to work. My mom is on TV. And dad goes to the barn. They go on TV. They're called Cat and Nat. Thai food and salad. Sushi and salad. Sushi and salad, that's the thing. There's some sausage. Mom. Mom and Dad. Dairy farms. Metro. And chicken farms. Summer Hill and Metro. Green farms. Lego. Play on my trampoline. I like to do my homework. Cut down trees. Do gymnastics. Go ride my bike. Sometimes I get to drive the tractor. Play hockey. Play with each other. I go to dance. Usually go to my grandma's grandpa's. I see my grandparents a lot. Kind, nice, and helpful. Loving, nice, and careful. Like, they care for each other. I would say my mom is nice, my dad's a farmer, and I go to the barn with my dad.
go ask your kids the same questions and see what they say. And then after that, show them this video and watch this video and see which kids they have more in common with. At the end of the day, we all have something in common. We all need to eat. We all want what's best for our kids. But we also have some things that make us different. Bye guys. Bye. It uh, never ceases to be amaze me how much we actually accomplish in a year or we attempt to accomplish in a year and I, I think it speaks to why sometimes my calendar looks fairly full but um, you know I think that's just to highlight some of the hard work the organization is trying to do on your behalf and uh, I encourage all of you to, to, to reach out to directors or delegates or just uh, anybody to uh, you know bring forth ideas or issues uh, that you have so we can uh, work on your behalf and, and try to drive our industry forward.